Hey guys, what's up? It's Random Mr. 411. And what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be doing old movie reviews or classics, I guess. I got this idea from Kevin Falk. He's a great YouTuber. Go subscribe to him in the description. He's really funny. He He's awesome. I love all his reviews. And he also made me think about some older movies that I now plan on watching. So yeah, go check him out. And also partially due to the fact that I'm randomness for 411, and why should I just review new movies? I should review old movies as well. So that's where this comes in. And the first old movie, or the first classic that I'm going to be reviewing on this channel is Following. Now, Following is directed by Christopher Nolan. It stars Jeremy Theobald and Alex Haw. And the basic plot is that Jeremy Theobald's character, he follows people around. Not to, like, kill them or anything, but he just likes following people around. And Alex Haw's character is someone that burglarizes places. So when, so when Jeremy Theobald's character goes along with Alex Haw's, Alex Haw's character, he gets caught up in this whole frenzy of stealing stuff and... It, it's a very strange movie, and I don't really want to say more because there are a lot of twists and turns. And, um, yeah, so when I was watching this film, I was like, this is only 70 minutes because this is 70 minutes. And going into it, I was like, okay, this is going to be a quick movie. And I'm very excited because I do like uh, Christopher Nolan's uh, films. I'm not a fanboy. I mean, I thought Interstellar was all right. I mean, it was pretty good, but oh, totally overrated. Uh, I like the Dark Knight trilogy a lot. So I was very excited going into this. And how was it? I have to say that following, it's not his best film that I've seen, but it still is a pretty good movie. All right, so first of all, the acting by everyone is very, very good. Jeremy Theobald is the the person who follows people in this movie. And we don't really see much of his following. So I don't know why the film is called following. It's just more or less about the burglarizing. Well, I guess. But Jeremy Theobald's character still does a fantastic job. You, I mean, it's weird to say that you empathize with him, but... When he's, want, when he's with Alex Hall, he never really steals anything from these houses for the most part, but he's more or less just watching, and you kind of feel like you're that character because you're just watching all of this unfold, and it's like madness how crazy it is. He's saying, and then Alex Hall's character is probably the best thing about this movie because he's just like, well, we take the, well. It's a uh, it's a film from the United Kingdom, so I'll just do a British accent, I guess. Well, you know, we just take things because people they they want to know that it's more valuable. I mean, uh, I forgot what he said, but it was something along those lines. I paraphrased the shit out of that, but still, it was something along those lines, and he was saying that. Stealing that makes people realize like what they had and they take what they have for granted and it's actually like pretty like Dude, you're kind of You're kind of still a jerk, but I see your point a little bit So I really Alex Hall's character is probably the best part about this movie He was just so entertaining to watch on screen uh, the, there's a, I mean, there's a girl in the movie who both interacts with both of the characters, um, pro, I mean, just a perfect amount, and also, the thing about this movie is, the two main leads, they get perfect, like, separate amounts of screen time, I can't even tell you which one is the main person in this movie, because both of them have an excellent amount of screen time, but the, the girl in the movie, she spends a lot of time with them, she actually isn't just there for a love interest in the film. She actually leads the plot on, and and the at the end, she kind of provides for the twist ending, which I'm not going to spoil until I'm going to... I'm going to spoil it later, but for now, I'm just going to talk about the film. Uh, the direction in the movie is really good. I like how Christopher Nolan decides to do this in black and white. 
I thought it was a very creative and artistic choice. I'm not sure really why he did it, to be 100% honest. Sorry. But uh, nevertheless, I, I'm pretty sure there is something more behind that. And with that, say, with that said, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of stuff behind this film as a whole that's very artsy and it has a much, much deeper meaning. And that is for sure, but I think it'll take multiple viewings for people to actually grasp the full-on, like, what is life type of deeper meaning to the film. And you know what? Christopher Nolan, he's great at doing that. I mean, this is his first full-length film, and you can tell if you first saw this movie when it first came out, you can tell that Christopher Nolan is going to be a very just like, makes you think hard, director. I mean, oh, also, I forgot to say, Inception. Um, I haven't finished it yet, so I, that's all I want to say. I've only finished the first two hours, but I will plan on finishing that. If you guys comment below what you want me to review, yeah, do, do that, because I want to know what I should review next. For now, I'm just going to be reviewing classics that are on Netflix. But I want you guys to suggest me some movies. So if you, if you could do that in the comments, that'd be great. Um, let's see, what else with the movie? Um, it is pretty short. It's 70 minutes, but that's kind of where my flaw comes in. I mean, towards the last 20, 30 minutes of this 70-minute film, it does feel a little long and slow-paced at some parts at the end. And you're kind of just waiting for it to wrap up. And yes, when the twist does come, you're like, holy crap, that's a pretty good twist. But at the same time, you're not like as invested in the story as you were at the beginning. And that's where I think the film kind of falls. But overall, I really did enjoy following. I, I pretty much enjoyed every part of it besides like the last 20, 30 minutes. And overall, I'd give it a 4 out of 5, 4.2. Just because of that twist ending, it's it's a great twist ending, and I loved it. And I definitely wasn't expecting it. I know a lot of people probably were, but still, it was a great twist ending. And, uh, yeah, so 4.2 out of 5. Now let's get into the spoiler of the twist ending of, of this film. You will have 10 seconds to go away starting now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Four, three, two, one. All right, so if you're still here, then that means you've probably seen the film by now, or you just don't care about this movie, and you, you don't care. Just in general, you don't. It doesn't matter. So, yeah. Um, First of all, the, spoil, the twist is great. You find out that Alex Hall's character has been setting Jer Jeremy Theobald up the entire time, and Lucy Russell was kind of also in this plan. You can see that from when after uh, he cuts his hair, Jeremy Theobald to look look less um, look less suspicious, I guess you would say. You see that when they're in bed, that they Lucy Russell's character and Alex Haw, they kind of were planning this thing from the beginning. And how the film ends, how they have the D D Lloyd uh, credit card in Theobald's room. I thought that was very good. I was like, yeah, he set you up. I mean, did you really deserve it? I don't think so, but still, it was a really surprising ending for me, at least. And overall, I just... I really liked the ending. But like I said, the 20, 30 minutes before that is more or less just like you're sitting there and you're kind of bored. Because the first part of the movie, it's like, Oh, we've seen them burglarizing these houses. And I guess the last 20, 30 minutes is more driven through dialogue. And I guess that's what bored me more. But I really did enjoy this movie overall. I'd highly suggest it if you're a fan of Christopher Nolan, if you just want to check out a mind bender or anything that's just really cool and artistic. So, um, yeah, like I said, overall, I'm going to give. Following a 4.2 out of 5 stars, that'd probably average out to like a B plus in my book. So, um, yeah, that is my review for following. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Tell me if you like the webcam because 
I'm not recording on my phone because it's very, it doesn't have any gigabytes, so making long videos like this is very hard, and for these classics, I want to make long videos, so yeah, tell me if you like this, if you want me to continue classics, I'm going to until someone tells me to stop, and yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching my review for following, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and my next review will be for, I don't know, I'll either review Clerks, Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, or Charlie Bartlett, depending on what I watch next. So until those reviews, or one of those, I'm Randomish Phone 1, and I will see you all later. Bye.